welcome back to the final part of our party look. So I'm going to use a red lip pencil and I'm going to outline Rachel's Cupid's bow and also the center of her bottom lip. And then I'm going to start outlining from the outer corner moving up the way so that we keep the lip nice and full. Sometimes when you go down the way you can accidentally drag in. So I'm starting from the outer corner and going up towards the top of the Cupid's bow there and that'll help keep that bottom part of the lip and sort of the rounder part of the lip nice and full and then I'm going to fill in that area and repeat on the bottom lip. So when I have the lip mostly filled in with the just a thin layer of the lip pencil worked into the lip I'm going to go back and just make sure that I've got all the shape just right and if there's any little adjustments I need to make if maybe one side of the lip is slightly higher or fuller then I can go back and make those adjustments now if you do make a little bit of a mistake it happens use a cotton bud and press in the way this will mean that you're not going to smear red lipstick all over your face I'm going to use a darker purple colour. This is Night Moth, I believe, from MAC. You can use black if you'd like an even more dramatic look. And I'm going to put this on the outer corners of the lip, and I'm going to blend it across with a lip brush. And this is going to create a subtle ombre effect when you put the lipstick on top, which is going to help the mouth look a little bit more pouty. It's going to be slightly lighter in the middle, making it look a little bit further out and a little bit more full. So you can see the effect there when that's blended across. So now we're going to go and put a thin layer of uh, your chosen red lipstick across the lip and you're really going to work it into the lip. You can see I'm sort of dragging Rachel's lip a little bit. That's because I'm really, really working it into the lip so it really lasts a long time. Once you have that first layer worked in, you can go back over with the second layer and that's going to add a little bit more colour for you and then I'm going to get Rachel to smile and I'm going to work it back through the lips again and that's going to go into any of the little lines you may have in your lips so when you smile you're not going to see any of the natural lip colour coming through it's going to be a really nice finished red lip so now I'm going to go in with an angled brush and a little bit of concealer and I mean a very very small amount and I'm going to go around any edges on the lip that maybe aren't quite as sharp as I would like them to be I'm going to blend out that concealer with my Barely Cosmetics Hard Definer Sponge. It has a nice hard edge on it, which is going to help us blend out that concealer. Now, if you prefer a more natural finish to the lip, you do not have to do this. But if you like that very sharp, crisp edge, then this is a really great technique to get that finish. And there you go. You have your completed red lip, which the party look that we're going for. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know if you'd like to see any more. Have a safe and happy Christmas and New Year and I will speak to you all soon. Bye!